Dear Pisces, my name is Lavi and this is your weekly tarot reading, so let's get to it. Dear Pisces, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. Number 10, number 10, number 10. Pentacles, wands, and cups. Look, the best period of your recent times it's about to happen right now there's no doubt there is no doubt and then you have number 20 the judgment and there is number nine the personal fulfillment so i mean i hope i really hope that you feel what is going on right now dear pisces with you within you around you this spring it's an absolute insane period for you to make something happen it's been so long that the fighting that the struggling that the 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 grind has been going on with having all these completions in your mind not giving up not giving in you deserve you deserve everything that you're going to get you deserve everything that you have been fighting for and if it's not enough for me, I list it 10, 10, 10. There is another 10, the Wheel of Fortune, a number 10 card, and the Queen of Pentacles. And you have a Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. I shuffled the cards. What is it all about? Seems like everything is happening for you. And then you have another number 10. Look at this karmic completion. And then you have follow your dreams. What is it happening? It's a, it, it, it's a fantastic blast that is just going to hit you. Like it's going to be like a slap in your face when you, you're going to wake up and turn out that you are I don't know, you become a millionaire, a lottery, just in your favor, or you just turn out that somebody want to marry you, or you're going to have a kid, or family, or somebody who I haven't seen for such a long time, is just come, and, and you're going to feel complete. And the king of swords and the king of uh, queen of swords here as well to cover the whole thing you know what it also means that you have been so focused so determined so sharp in your dealings in your thinking and whatever was happening around you is just kept going you just kept going you just kept going nothing in the past was able to drag you that much to not to reach this peak it's like climbing the mount everest and you know it's just oh i just gotta put the flag up at the top wow it's unbelievable unbelievable and you were holding all those things together. You were holding all those ones together regardless. Regardless of who said what, who did what, how the world turned around, what's going on economically, uh, whatever, the environmentally or whatever. You were just going, going, going following your dreams so 
if you don't have the, a, a diary yet and if you don't if or if you don't write things down your success and, and like things that you are interested in i would really encourage you to to start doing it because it's not just going to be your success it's going to be your legacy and your family legacy and the next generation's legacy and not just necessarily your family more than one family whole community whole world you're going to be in a position to decide whatever you want to do with your life you can and the wheel of fortune is always gives a chance to sort of set your next goal. So let's say your goal was, I don't know, get married by age, I don't know, 30 and have a family. And then you're just there now. So that goal is done. What's next? Or your goal was, well, I want to be a CEO of a company by the age of, again, I just say 30 or 40 or whatever. And that just happened. That means you need to find a new plan, a new aim, a new goal, something that you can put your life on it. That means you can spin the wheel of fortune again. And you know what crazy? If you are in the right mindset, if you are in the right frame of mind, which is the same thing, doesn't matter, then you spinning that wheel, the result will be inevitable. And I'm so excited for you, that's crazy. I'm so excited to see how is this going to unfold. I wish you could leave a comment, even if it happens the next week or the next month or whatever. And just say, I never thought when I watched that video that things are going to unfold in such a way. And I'm also excited because we've got two more cards in here, which I don't know what they are. So let's find out. So these are what's hidden from you. Ending the trauma, transform memories and symptoms, and balance spirituality and practicality. And this is the Pisces. Look at the spider. <laughs> Look at the fishes on it. So, ending the trauma. So this is. It talks about that success that is going to just happen for you right now. What does it mean? It means ending a trauma. It means that. Ending something that was so significant in your life. Something that was, was for even decades holding your life on a certain level. And then suddenly we open, take the top off and now the volcano. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Well, this is your forte, isn't it? And if anybody going to ask you, so what's the success? So what what's the key to your success? Because this success will be so inevitable. Somebody going to come to you and going to ask you. So what what made you become so successful? And this is what you're going to say. I balanced spirituality and practicality. And they're going to say, is that it? And you say, it is what it is. That's not an easy task. If it was a, such an easy task, then everybody would do it. This is the secret. What's the secret of my success? I balanced practicality and spirituality. Wow, dear Pisces, 
I have to say this is I have to say this is shocking. Shockingly good. And I'm so excited for you. So excited to see that you are coming out from your graves. You're coming out from the death. Rebirth. Reborn, rejuvenated, reinvented. How many times you had to reinvent yourself in the last years? Please remember. How many times you had to drag yourself out of a situation that wasn't good for you? But you were doing what? Following your dreams, regardless. Until when? until the karmic completion. And when is that happening? Right now, right here. I'm sorry, I, can't, I, I could keep going on and on and on about how great this is and this looks, but no need because it's in your life is going to happen in your life any moment. And I'm so happy for you. Incredibly happy for you. So, dear Pisces, it's no, no other word that I can say. Thank you. And enjoy the ride.